Hello, hello, my friends. I am back with another dedicated candle review. Today, we are going to be talking about Hallmark's Charred Apple Woods. Full disclosure, this candle was sent to me in PR from the brand. I am a brand ambassador for Hallmarks. However, if you have been with my channel for any length of time, you know that I genuinely always like to share with you the pros and cons of every candle, what my honest burn experience has been with all of them. Sometimes I give you two thumbs up and other times I tell you, even if it's been sent to me in PR, sometimes I'll tell you, hey, this one, not so good for me. So where will this candle fall? Well, we stay tuned. So we have this beautiful wraparound label that uh, Hallmarks is known for. This is one of their four wick 18 ounce vessels. You guys all know that I am a huge fan of the packaging. And as you can see that uh, the label just illuminates beautifully when this candle is lit up. The pour date of the candle that I am reviewing today is May 7th, 2024. And I will make sure that I have all of the fragrance notes that I talk about here listed down below for you in the description box, as well as the pour date and any other information that you might want to know about my home. So that way you can gain a better understanding of where I'm coming from when I talk about the performance of this candle. Fragrance notes listed on the bottom of this candle are Macintosh apple, orange peel, charred cedar, tobacco leaf. The more in-depth Fragrance notes that are listed on the Slatkin & Co. website are top notes of orange peel, incense smoke, birch leaf, mid notes of Macintosh apple, black currant, and tobacco, base notes of oak moss, charred cedar, and guaiac wood. So what does my nose smell? First and foremost, you guys, this is definitely an apple fragrance. So even though you might be seeing some other fruit notes in there like orange peel or black currant, while I might get a little bit of that in there, this is definitely a an apple dominant fragrance to my nose. I do get some of that charred element, which would be the um, fragrance accords that are listed here of say an incense smoke, tobacco, you've got um, a little bit of charred cedar in here. I definitely smell those fragrances when this candle is burning in particular. On cold sniff, I will tell you that it was mainly apple uh, to my nose, but um, there is a little bit, even on cold sniff, you can detect some of that charred element. Now, that being said, this is not an overly smoky fragrance. So if you are turned off by super smoky fragrances, a la winter fireside or beach bonfire, but maybe you like, um, what's the one, fireside Christmas tree from Hallmarks, I think that this, this fragrance to me is kind of like the fall take on fireside Christmas tree. Not necessarily necessarily that it this is a tree scent it's obviously not but the fact that that fragrance is such a hit because it was uh, combining two out combining two elements that are common in the winter time, I would say with um, a fireplace and a tree note around the holidays. Whereas this to me is also like the epitome of fall, fall fragrances that we would think of, a fireplace and maybe a bunch of apple fragrances because apple tends to be very common in the fall. I hope that made sense. That's kind of like where my mind is going with this and what they were possibly striving for. I think that it's really well done. Um, I definitely would say that the, the four notes that they list on the bottom of the candle are probably the ones that you really pick up on the most. Definitely a Macintosh apple in here. It's a juicy, sweet apple, but it's not over sweet say like a honey crisp or a fuji um it's also not super tart like say a granny smith or kind of like your standard baking apples um it's just it's it's a nice apple fragrance but it is really well balanced out with a little bit of like a cedar smoke in there. And again, not super smoky. Um, I do almost in some ways think it is the tobacco leaf that is giving it just um, a, a little bit of hint of earthiness, I would say in here. Um, I really, really like the fragrance. The more that I burn it, the more that I like it. Um, do I believe that this is a fragrance that I need backups of? No, but is it one that I see myself enjoying for the rest of uh, for the rest of the time that I have this candle throughout the rest of the burn. Yes, I don't see myself decluttering this fragrance. It pairs really nicely with a lot of other candles that I currently have in my collection. And um, if 
funny enough, I do get some compliments on this candle. So it's, it's a nice apple fragrance if you like apple fragrances, but you also like a little bit of a charred note. The charred note in here is not overly smoky to my nose. It's really beautifully balanced out, and I think that it complements the apple fragrance that they chose for this very, very well. So um, I just mentioned that I get compliments on this candle. So let's go ahead and talk about the performance of it. So I am a little over halfway done with this candle and you can see that the wicks are performing quite well for me right now. They're not getting wonky. They're not overly uh, sooty, a good, nice, clean burn. Now, one of the things I will tell you is that the first burn of this candle, um, it did take quite a while to pull out. In fact, I did have to have this burning for about five hours on the first burn. And I will tell you that even after I extinguished it, there was, you know, I think those of you who are uh, seasoned candle burners, you know what I'm talking about when the wax pulls out, but sometimes there's just like the tiniest rim uh, sticking to the edge of wax that hasn't completely pulled out. That's what I experienced even after five hours of burn on the first one. I will also say that the wicks looked like, they're, they're, they're looking like what a lot of the Hallmarks wicks are looking like for me this year, where on the first burn, you're thinking, ooh, these wicks are gonna be really, really puny. They're going to give low flames, um, and you're a little bit concerned about them. However, then after the second, and even after the third burns, you're like, oh, okay, they adjust they're okay. So I have not been trimming the wicks on this candle because they haven't needed it. Um, I am concerned that if you trim the wicks on this one that you might run into an issue where the wicks might dud out. Um, if you get any kind of carbon residue at the end, you might just wanna trim that off, but these are not super thick, um, high carbon type of wicks. So that is something that you should probably know. Strength and throw on this candle, I'm going to give the strength of this one about a seven, but the throw is pretty good. The throw on this is about an eight. And um, the reason that I know that is because this morning I actually had a friend drop by. I've had this candle lit now for goodness, probably about three and a half hours now. And I had a friend drop by about an hour ago. And the minute I opened my door, she was like, oh my goodness, it smells so good in here. And I was like, oh, that really helps me out because you know, when I'm doing reviews, sometimes I go a little bit nose blind because I'm so used to fragrance and I'm looking for things like how strong is it gonna be or whatnot. But she walked in and she was like, no, your house smells really, really good right now. She says it smells like fall, um, but she's like, but it's also a little bit unique. It's not like a, um, she says it's not like a foodie apple type of fragrance. And this is a friend who like, I don't think she's really into home fragrance, but it's always fun every once in a while to get other people's opinions about what they're smelling when they walk into your house. And um, so that is, that's the feedback that I got back from her. But therefore, I know that the strength and throw on this is pretty good because she didn't find the fragrance offensive. She could definitely smell it right when she right when she walked in. And she walked in from my front door, which is opposite of the living room from where I was burning this candle. So it wasn't even near you know, it wasn't near the entrance. It was on the opposite side of the room. And you guys all know the living room is my largest room. It has open concept with high ceilings in there. So, um, but I will tell you that even the fragrance in and of itself though, it's detectable, but it's not a smack you in the face type of scent. It's a high medium in terms of the strength, but the projection is a little bit better. That being said, because I think my nose is very accustomed to a lot of apple fragrances this time of year, I do find myself going nose blind to it. Um, probably like I would say after about two hours, my nose just starts to not really pick up on any kind of like nuanced, um, uh, like nuanced fragrance, I guess, or, um, nuance, nothing, there's nothing like special about it after like those first two hours. So just be aware of that. But overall, you guys, I would give this candle two thumbs up. Um, it's not going to be a must have. I need backups of it because just to me, it's not unique enough to have or like earn that place in my collection. But I do think that it is a very nice fragrance um, and I will continue to enjoy it for the rest of its little burning life here. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this review, I am a brand ambassador 
that are for homeworks, which means that I do have a discount code with the Slack and Co website. My discount code is Katie's Joyful Life. It should save you 15% off of your orders over $40. Um, sometimes that can be used with sales and other times it can't. So if you are comfortable using affiliate codes, you can always type it in to see if it'll save you any additional money. But you all know me, I will tell you every day that ends in Y to get the greatest discount possible for you, whether that is using your rewards in combination with a sale, or if they're not running a sale and you don't really care about, um, maybe you're not placing a giant order or whatever. Um, just, I would just say, save, save the most money, no matter what means, uh, you, you come by it. So please hit thumbs up. If you found this video helpful, feel free to chime in down below. If you have burned this candle and what your experience has been, it is a different apple fragrance than I would say the deliciously apple scent. Deliciously apple is also is missing obviously that charred note, but that fragrance is also to me definitely more of like a, um, sweet, almost perfumey type of apple fragrance. Uh, whereas this one is more, um, just a good apple blended out with, um, kind of some charred wood, which I, I like, I, I do like this fragrance. Um, I will still stand by my favorite fall fragrance that is quote unquote new this year to the Slack and Co lineup so far is still Haunted Apple Nights. I still think that that is probably my favorite apple family fragrance. Um, but this one I would say would probably be a close second. Um, again, not repurchase worthy for me, but I do enjoy it for what it is. So again, feel free to comment down below, hit that subscribe button if you are new and if you enjoy some candle content, I do want to say thank you so very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.